Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode on Azure Networking. And in this section, we are going to talk about Azure Site-to-Site -Site VPN. That is going to be the main focus. However, there are many offerings comes from VPN Gateway, which is going to be VNet to VNet, encrypted traffic, site-to-site, -site, and point-to-site, that is basically going to be remote access. And there are two types of gateways you can configure one is going to be the express route and another one is going to be the vpn so let's first try to understand what is this vpn gateway all about we will look into the features and then we will talk about the scenarios possible with vpn, VPN gateway azure vpn gateway is a service or it's a managed service that uses a specific type of virtual network gateway to send encrypted traffic between virtual network and your on-prem locations over the public internet. You can also use VPN gateway to send encrypted traffic between Azure virtual network over the Microsoft backbone. Multiple connections can be created to the same VPN gateway. And when you use multiple connections, all VPN tunnels share the available gateway bandwidth. The Azure VPN gateway can be configured to support point-to-site, site-to-site, and express route connections. With point-to-site VPN, individual clients' devices can connect to Azure resources over secured internet. With site-to-site -site VPN, on-prem network can connect to Azure resources. Express route provides a dedicated private connection between your on-prem infrastructure and Azure data centers. Azure Gateway is highly available and can automatically scale to handle increased network traffic. It also supports various protocol like Ike v1, Ike v2, OpenVPN and provides like um, NAT and you can also run BGP on top of that. So in summary, Azure VPN Gateway is a cloud-based VPN service provided by Microsoft Azure, which provides a secure and reliable connection between your on-prem infrastructure and your Azure resources, as well as this can be used between virtual network within the Azure infrastructure. Let's talk about a few of the key features which you need to consider before you plan your VPN Gateway and set up your tunnel connectivity. You can refer to this page for more information. However, I'm going to talk about some of the key features. So if I go to the planning table, you can see these are the offerings. It's a point to site, site to site, and express route. If you go for bandwidth consideration, it is something which is based on the SQ, which you are going to choose. And for site to site, you can go up to 10 Gbps aggregate. Protocol supported is going to be IPsec. If you go for point to site, it supports SSTP, OpenVPN, and IPsec. Since we will remain focused on site to site, so let's focus on that. It supports static routing, and it also supports BGP. You can set up your tunnels in active passive and active active mode. And when you go to the gateway SQ, you can see here the basic gateway SQ, it is going to support 10 site to site and 128 point to site, open VPN not supported and aggregate throughput is going to be 100 Mbps. And this is also not going to support the BGP and it is not zone redundant. For our lab purpose, we are going to use the VPN gateway one and this should be sufficient because we are going to run the BGP as well. And bandwidth doesn't matter because we are in lab environment. You can go up to VPN Gateway 5AZ and that supports up to 10 Gbps throughput. Another major consideration is going to be the encryption, your algorithms you are going to choose, that your throughput is going to be completely dependent on that. So if you go for the GCM AES-256, it is going to support 650 Mbps per tunnel. Similarly, if you go for DS-3 and SSA-3, it's going to be 130 Mbps. 
So that's a major consideration. And then you have a packet per second can be sent over the tunnel. Available zones. This is a regional component, but it can spread across multiple zones. If one zone sees some sort of the failure, your services will be up from different zone. For pricing, you can refer this page and see what different SQs they are going to cost you. Now let's take a look on various scenarios available. So here you can see I might have a site which is site A. On this I might have a router or I might have some sort of firewall which is Cisco ASA or maybe the Palo Alto which supports a route based VPN. And then this router will have a public, public IP address, the site. And when you provision VPN gateway, that is also going to have a public IP address assigned to its interface. And this is first scenario. And I'm considering my VPN gateway is an active standalone. And once you have a reachability between these two public IP addresses, you can form a VPN tunnel which is going to be the route based to establish the connectivity and for testing purpose I have one subnet in that I have one VM which is running I can initiate some traffic from this router maybe we can test the ICMP connectivity and try to ping this private IP address of this VM to test whether we have the reachability or not so this can be one scenario one active tunnel your VPN gateway is in active standalone. In the next scenario, I can have two sites, site A, site B, and here you are going to have those public IP addresses, and you can still form two tunnels, one from site A, one from site B to the same standalone VPN gateway. In our third scenario, I have site A, with one equipment and on Azure side, if I want to maintain the redundancy, I can put these VPN gateway into active and standby mode. So I can form one active tunnel to our active gateway and the standby tunnel to my second VPN gateway, which is going to be the standby. In the next scenario, I can have my VPN gateway configured in is active and standby mode. And same time, I can have two sites, site A and site B. From site A, I will have one active tunnel, which is going to the active gateway and the second tunnel, which goes to the standby gateway. So here you are technically, you are going to have the four tunnel, two are going to be the active and two are going to be the standby. In our next scenario, I have only one site. Uh, but maybe here you al also want to maintain some sort of the redundancy for that purpose. You are going to use two routers on the same site. And on Azure side, it is going to be the active standby. So here also you are going to have technically the four tunnels. Two are going to be active and two are going to be the passive. In this scenario also, you have site one, two routers. And if your deployment looks like this, both the gateways are going to be active active. So technically you are going to have four tunnels and everything is going to be active mode. You may also have express route WAN connectivity. So the green one is your express route connectivity. And in a subnet, there can be two gateway can coexist. One is going to be the VPN gateway. Another gateway is going to be your express route gateway. You can still use this tunnel as a backup in case there's some failure happens over your express route circuit. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next section.